Hi Cancer, this is Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel and also new people, new viewers. I'm grateful that my cyber babes are back and uh, thank you for popping in and to show your interest to new viewers. I hope you will join the channel. Please subscribe therefore. Therefore, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell, then it will be saved in your library and then you can find us back much easier. Um, just a warning, please subscribe to your favorite channels um, because uh, YouTube is changing systems and some people have been deleted. Uh, I've lost a hundred cyber babes um, or cyber angels and uh, I don't know who they are. I'm sorry if you have been deleted from the channel, but please make sure that you re-subscribe um, and um, then you are already into the new system. So um, the old system will be down and out um, in March. So um, make sure that you subscribe to your favorite channels. Okay, now I'm using the Enchanted um, uh, Dreams Tarot and I'm also using the um, Metatron Tarot uh, Oracle deck and you can see the reviews in the playlist if you click on the playlist uh, review then you can see all the 37 channels that I've done reviews on but these are my latest cards and I'm also using the Angel Feather Oracle deck um, that I'll explain later what I mean by the Angel Feather Oracle deck, but I thought I might add your um, Moonstone. Your Moonstone Cancer is um, Sapphire, Ruby and Carnelian. Okay, so have a look at your um, if you go shopping, have a look at your moonstone and see what it looks like. If you don't know what a carnelian is, or a ruby, or a sapphire. And um, I'm talking about the blue sapphire. There is so many different colors in sapphires. Okay, for your, your reading looks absolutely mind-blowing at the first glance. Okay, you've got the first card. You have the sun. Something is in the spotlight. You might be in the spotlight or um, something is being illuminated. A Leo might fancy you. Ooh, you can see the tiger in the background. Okay. Um, this is clearly, for me, this is clearly a summer card of July, August. That is summertime. So if anybody wants a time indication then it will happen in the summer um, like I said you might be in the uh, you might be in the spotlight and um, somebody might fancy you you might have public recognition you might be um, getting a job promotion or somebody might you might have caught somebody's eye and they'll give you a job offer you might be moving home you might be going on a holiday to a warm country. The Sun card also means birth, birth of a child or birth of a new beginning of some kind, like I've mentioned before. Um, you might need more information with regards to something that is illuminated. So is there an issue? Have you got a question? You need more information on it. Sorry, that was the cat. Okay, sorry about that. And look at this no matis. Sorry. When I read cards, she's always coming to sit on the cards or on the computer. So is Millie. She's sitting here as well. That's my dog, the mascot of the channel. Okay, they both are actually. And Cancer, look at what you have signs from spirit with love and I know this will mean something to somebody your grandmother is sending you love look for the signs if you see a robin it is her okay for everybody else 
um, look for signs. You are getting a message from heaven with love. This is the little holy bird because it was um, a normal bird, but the legend goes, or the mythical story behind it, is that this bird landed on Jesus' shoulder and a drop of blood fell from his crown of thorns. And that's why he, on his chest, and that's why he's called Robin, a red Robin. And of course, um, that is lovely. It is also number 50, so you might not be in balance. So perhaps you are getting messages to try to get back into balance. Now that was for the Monday, uh, the 17th, and now we're going on to midweek, Wednesday, and you have the star. The star means that your wish or your goal is coming true. And something is boom, it, like I said, mind blowing. Well, this card definitely is. So your wish or your goal is coming true. From Metatron, you have number 46, so that's a 10. Something is coming to an end, and you are going also starting a new phase. Okay? And that's quite a, a good confirmation card for the star. Um, authentic self, number 46. Who are you? Do you know what you want? Do you know who you are? Are you where you want to be? Or do you want to move home or go on holiday? Is that your wish? Do you want a new love? As you have the lovers. On Friday you might meet somebody and this could be a new love partner or a partner in business. It will be, it could be, um, it could also be a, a, a new friendship. In that sense, they will be your soulmate. You'll have a lot in common. You don't have to be in love to have a soulmate. Conquering fear. Start today and stand in your power because you are number 17 and number 17 becomes 8. So that is your powerhouse and your money house. There might be, uh, a, like I said, a promotion coming to you or a wage rise. Conquer fear for the new beginning. Don't worry so much, Cancer. It will all be all right. And here we've got the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups being you or Pisces or Scorpio. You are in your element. Um, at the weekend, you might meet another water sign, a loving, passionate, nurturing, sexy, sensual lady. It could be your soulmate because this is the lovers and uh, your conquering fears. Perhaps she will conquer fears and it can start on Friday, this friendship and that you feel that you've conquered your fears. At the weekend, we have number 15, which is six. Clarity, go within. Uh, something will become clear to you. Archangel Metatron is clearing your chakras. So meditate or sit quietly, my darling, and don't worry so much. The angels are with you, and so is, for one person at least, your grandmother. The holy bird is with you. Look for signs. Get to know yourself by sitting quietly, doing meditation. Open yourself up. Open that beautiful um, solar plex, the yellow chakra, just underneath your chest by that little V underneath your chest by your ribs. Just there where he's got his fingers or a little lower. So open up and... Set the intention to receive positive, beautiful, new things and that your wish is coming true. Perhaps a new job, as you've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands means new work, new hobby, new passion. 
A passion is hobby, could be, or a new love sign. And I told you, a Leo might be interested in you. So here you are, you've got Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. Now, it could be a passion, but if you want to uh, let it grow into a fully fledged um, partnership and that you are lovers for the rest of your life or for a long, long time, then let them know what your boundaries are. But you must know who you are and what your boundaries are. You won't know yourself if you don't know your boundaries, okay? So make it clear to the fire sign what your boundaries are and what you want, what your wishes are, so that they can accommodate accordingly and have a, a beautiful relationship and not just a passion. Now, for the angel feather card, you have Magneta angel feather essence of the entrepreneur so if you would like to start a business then you can i'll tell you why the angels have witnessed your business flair and dedicated work ethic they believe that you could aspire to be quite an entrepreneur if you choose to follow this path now the stones that you can wear or crystals that you can wear to optimize everything is not only ruby, sapphire or um, carnelian, but it is also rhodonite, cherry opal, two light, two light, and the, there are no um, Archangels with this feather associated, only angels, angel of inventions. So if you invent something, if you have a new idea, it could be a success. And that is Israfel, Israfel. And then we have angel of success, for, uh, uh, for example, angel perpetual angel perpetual so those are the colors and those are um, the stones and the angels now um, pink is also the uh, color of the heart and pink it has many shades but that is Arch Archangel Shamuel. So call upon Archangel Shamuel to open your heart to be able to love and be loved. You are a softy cancer and know yourself so that you can protect yourself, so that you know your boundaries with other people around you. Just tell them what your boundaries are. And I wish you a lot of success if you want to start your own business. I hope you've liked this reading and I hope you, I hope you will have a beautiful week. Let me know what your wish is. Let me know, are you moving home? Are you moving business? Or uh, um, who um, fancies you? Because you're in the spotlight, so remember this card, the sun, is victory. I think the combination of this is awesome. Listen to your intuition, my darlings. Do your meditation. You are spiritual, emotional, and you should hear your um, spiritual. Spiritual is also emotional and the new ideas and your gut listen to your intuition your gut feelings you are a sensitive person so protect yourself by knowing yourself okay thank you very much for being here and please give us the thumbs up and share the videos as much as possible with family and friends okay take care and be blessed and i hope to see you in the live sessions Ciao, ciao.